Oh. Uh, yeah, he's he's washed out. Washed out. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Back Hello. Time. Hello. Hi, Dutch. Holy shit. Hello. We're back. Hey, guys. Imagine playing D&D. &D. <laughs> no. What's that like? Help. You die quietly, oh, no. please. Don't die. Stop. What's it like to not be sick? I don't know, man. We Bro, can't tell you. Imagine, imagine having COVID. For the what 17th a, time. What a loser. It's, it's the fourth time. I'll have you know. 417, well, same number. Well, because every time you get it, you're like, your odds increase exponentially of getting it again. So you become more vulnerable. So it's <laughs> tracks. <laughs> yeah. Um, but she's just not going hostels and just like kissing people who are like dude, no, in ICU, I went, you know. I went, Stop I went, fucking I kissing ICU I, patients. <laughs> It's no, it's not that. It's licking the doorknobs of hospitals that got me. Oh, I'll do that. oh <laughs> I thought you were licking the toilet seats, but no, I have. Come on, I have you have a very seats. different Dude. disease than COVID. Okay, no, no, no. Was real talk though. Seats. The U.S. declared that bioterrorism during COVID era, like licking a toilet seat is bioterrorism. <laughs> true story. True story. Who licks a toilet seat? Eh? I don't Crazy know, bro. People. It was like a trend for like a month or two. It was a trend. He said. No, like a no, no, no. Because like there was like the getting caught. It's a trend. I swear. <laughs> Don't do it for fun. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. It wasn't licking toilet seats. Wasn't it the licking ice cream thing? Licking ice cream. Yeah, no, that's what it yeah. was. Licking People go to grocery stores too. and lick ice licking cream. Licking toilet seats wasn't the thing that was the like... Con the concept was if you knew that you had COVID and were purposely trying to spread that, regardless of what you were licking, that was considered bioterrorism. <laughs> to tr uh, purposely and maliciously attempt to pass on Dude, COVID. who fucking asked? <laughs> you well, did, guys, you motherfucker! I didn't ask. Oh, <laughs> that is so 2023. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I hate this. I quit. Stop. Oh, don't you? Oh, man. <coughs> yeah. So, hey guys, we're Dude, back. I'm DMing. I'm DMing Bell right now. As okay. you can tell, I'm still so sick, but I didn't want to postpone yet another week. Um. So that today we're doing a shorter sesh, like two hour ish, uh, depending on you know how things go. Um because uh my voice right now it's already a bit fucky but i've been i've been quiet all day so i haven't been using it so in two hours i'll be completely fucking it'll be completely shot and i can't you're gonna sound like me in that one Pretty glitch um, cool. i'll also be coughing <laughs> a lot so apologies beforehand but uh say la vie um hey it's our first session back since our pretty long uh winter break um hope you guys are all doing well hope you guys had great holidays and have uh, have had a great start to your 2024 and and all that and you know may all the goals you set out for yourself this year be accomplished and all that sappy shit um no genuinely though i mean it. i hope you guys kick some ass this year uh as we all plan to do um before we get going once we get into the session i'll start off with a lengthier recap to kind of get everybody back on the same page where to we leave off and all that stuff um, but before we do that, good to be back, guys. Uh, it's, uh, it's real good. Three minute, 14 second advert. Fruck, dude, para. Welcome to Twitch. You know what I mean? Welcome to Twitch. Thanks for the yep. sub, though. No more ads. Smile. Yo, um, I did get some new dice, though. Get some, dude, I got some new dice. Okay, I got some like, dice from you guys. I don't know if these will be old. Old? I this is not gonna work, bro. <laughs> like, my fucking, hold on. I got these. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> sure, yeah. I can't get it to fucking work, bro. Uh -huh. Yo, oh those dice were a bit blurry. There we go. Wait, that's, 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 wait. A passport. that's a passport. That's a passport. Oh, quick! Wait, quick, someone oh, take a picture shit, of a yeah. passport. <laughs> yeah, take a picture. Oh, my. Take a picture right, of the clothes. I'm, fucking, I'm giving passport. up on that one. I'm giving up on this. <laughs> yeah, those are new dice. And then, thanks to Laura, I got these. Old. You, 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 did you get them? Yeah, I got you the little got fucking it. revolver <laughs> thing. What? That's so cool. And they're like the shape of bullets. Yeah, what and is it has like a revolver. So cool. You spin it and then release it, and it rolls uh, the dice. Dude, down. those are the those are the most but, Soko dice yeah. I've ever seen. That's what I, literally, I posted them. Dungeon Selection said, posted, "Come like, these I for literally, Soko." Literally went and bought some like immediately. That's sick. Yeah. That's amazing. Fuck? You're welcome. I mean, now we got to bring yeah. back the Soko Gunslinger arc, surely. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, dude, that's it. those are sick. I uh, I also got some dice over Christmas. You guys gave me some dice. Well, as, an, as, an, as a little gift, yeah. um, and and I haven't used them Religious. yet. They've been in the box until literally just now, where I first took them out. Uh, mm. They're they're very pretty. The the camera doesn't really do them justice. They're a lot more. Yeah. Like, they look much better in person. They look a lot better in person, but they're you know they're, they got some you know there's some resin. What are they made there. of? What do you mean? What's that? What are they made of? Are they resin? Uh, yeah, I think they're resin. Yeah. They, they're like they're, sharp edged uh, resin. Yeah, they are sharp edged resin. 
Yeah. They're made, fuck, I can't remember the name of the company. Uh, oh, they're made by Dispel Dice? Everything Dice. No, oh, not Dispel no. Dice. Everything it's dice. Uh, Everything Dice. Code. Oh, okay. Yeah, it fucking came in a little bag as well. Isn't it cute? Like a little, so like a little thing to keep them from getting dusty or whatever, I guess. Ooh. Pretty sick. And uh, they're really pretty. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. You're welcome. I, like, the gift came here, like, like three weeks before Christmas, and I told my mom, like, yeah, my, my D&D friends gave me a gift, but I don't want to open it, so she wrapped it and put it under the Christmas tree, so I opened that up Christmas Day, and it was very nice. Oh, I don't have anything in here that I got for... Oh, well, maybe I do. I didn't get dice, but I got show a, and tell. Table, a tabletop RPG thing for Christmas. So. Uh, yeah. didn't get them for Christmas, I just bought them for myself before Christmas, lol, smiley face. Christmas dice. Christmas. Christmas. dice. I got the fast. No and dice, but I got an game. ocarina. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> got an ocarina of time, baby. Not about dice. Cool. Who gave the idiot so the sword? Shiny. It's about family. His roommate. What the? My roommate. My roommate was after out. Curious the board game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why is that? <laughs> bring that one to Canada. Jesus Christ. Uh, do you know what? It unironically looks really fun. What is that? But you have to be drinking. A Corona in a vest shirt. And I fucking family. knew it. I was, or, I was or we have to have a barbecue. With all of us outside because we're friends. Yes. You have to be wearing sunglasses inside. Yes. yes. Does you have to have drive to, a car someone... from one skyscraper to another to win. Does someone have to leave like three quarters of the way through, <laughs> kind of semi tragically? Oh god. And we and we just think it be it's me. been a please long be day. And they can fucking part be ways. Me. I beg. Well, at this point, I think uh, it's no, been down. Um, Which one of us wraps it, in, wraps um, our car around a tree at 150 miles per hour? Is it me? Uh, oh, let's play. Let's play Diddle. Uh, real party. And it looks real fun. Real human That's being. That's fucked up, bro. It's 2020. Guys, 2024. Go leave, leave the negativity and toxicity in the past for at least an hour. God. Anyway, uh, before we get going, uh, we're all, you know, we haven't played in a while. So this is, this is, so, you know, this, this is going to happen. But, um... Let's slowly get into the swing of things. Uh, thanks for the subs and stuff, by the way. Guys, appreciate y'all. We got a Twitch pay check yesterday, by the way, guys. But people have been remained Ooh. subs, even though we haven't streamed for two months. So, L Bozos. Like an idiot. Uh, hey, that was me. <laughs> Fuck. I fucked up and I ruined my streak, and I'm sad. Loser. I forgot. I know. Um, But. 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 Do we have anything we want to announce before we uh, get into the swig of things? <laughs> uh, called Nether Deep also should come back <coughs> next week yes. on my channel on Saturday. Exciting. I didn't play yesterday because of me, and this is this is the reason why I'm not okay. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sorry. I suppose that leads to a good question of are we Baldur's Gating tomorrow? I probably not, man. I need to like I want to do this because we're all kind of like itching to get back into the thing, but I need I need like a week more to really. Because I, dude, Baldur's Gate takes a lot of energy. I mean, we could do a silent playthrough. A type, silent stream. Type you, Baldur's Gate. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you, Ethan? Because then no one can fucking wail on you like the bell end you are. Rude. <coughs> oh, well. Jokes on you, I'm into that shit. Please stop. Please stop. Kill the DM. <laughs> Kill the DM, guys. We can all go home. Oh, my God. Uh, if the you know how if you're studying and like someone dies oh, you get automatically level pass. Do we get level up? So if Dutch you dies, do we up. automatically win D and D? Guys, D and D is no. not you against the DM. We're working We've together. We've been over to this. Story. It's okay. collaborative storytelling. Oh, all, all right, Orion Akaba, relax. Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Shots Hold fired. Hold on. I'd like to spend the next forty minutes buying mirrors. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> No. And I spend the 40 minutes after smashing them all for 280 for all years the bad of bad luck. luck. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he did the math real quick on that one. Holy shit. Dude, what Devin Dines for, guy? Okay. That sure is. I, 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 I mean, I I mean you're assuming that, you're I assuming that I buy a mirror a minute. Also nice. true. Mm. What's, your, what's your buying mirror? Mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Is? You buy them all at once. You just spend 40 minutes haggling to get a two copper discount. <coughs> Yikes. <coughs> all right. Sorry. Oh, boy. Oh, my oh, God. Damn. That's a meaty. <laughs> Sorry. I, I didn't know you could burp out COVID like that. I'm falling. Guys, I'm falling apart. Yeah, I'm getting contact discovered. 
When Doug starts apart. foaming at the mouth, we'll be like, oh, okay, he's fine. <laughs> the fuck is just Mike here? is gonna get, like, sealed up and taken away as evidence. Wait, can't we get it, though, by being in a call with him? Yes. <coughs> you, have the, you have computer viruses, dude? Come on. <laughs> that sounds like a perfect excuse to not have to work. All right. Um, anyone else? Any virus. announcements? Uh, mm, I mean, uh, Duke got sort of. Life yeah. updates counts as announcements. I don't, do they? It's, yeah, not like, it's not that important to D&D, &D, but I did get a job, yeah. Let's it's go. important to He's us. He's not unemployed. <laughs> And he found a job that he actually enjoys, right? This last it's so last sick, thing. dude. Yeah. It's so sick. Holy shit. I'll be honest. If work carries on, I'm going to be unemployed soon. I cannot take it. I want to offer myself. Uh, yeah, usually unemployment years. starts when work doesn't carry on, but that's fair. <laughs> no, like, I'm, I genuinely might just, like, put my two weeks in and be like, fuck it, I'll find something else. It's, I do think it. it's harder to claim job seekers if you do that, though. Anyway. That's fine. Um, I'll sell my car. I'll live on the street. Duke found a job he enjoys. Fucking pog you, dude. Um, Tell me how to do that. Yeah, what's that like? My job's alright. Yeah, your hard. boss seems pretty chill. Yeah, my boss is giga chill. My boss is also giga chill. My boss is in the sense that he doesn't care. But my the problem is, is Craig, that nobody so... cares anymore. It seems like so a double-edged sword, though, you know what I mean? Yeah, dude, like dude, literally no one cares. Tell anyone. <laughs> Dude, I'll if I could go back in time and screenshot the face Kobe just pulled. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, you want to see his face. That would be like an this. emote in seconds. Luckily, <laughs> clips exist. Right? Yes, but they're not as good quality as straight out of the Discord call. So. No quality <laughs> memes, best memes. That's true. Dude, so I'm so my, sorry. Fucking microwave memes. Kobe, different. that was super 2023 of you, bro. Oh, here we fucking go. Guys, let's... Guys. Guys, no, uh, let's let's reel it in. Uh, anyone else have anything they want to say? I, Very good. I don't think so. Very good. Happy America Day. Oh, and, uh, I actually oh. do a quick one. I put out um, the YouTube video for the top clips from my channel for 2023. So if you haven't watched it, you should watch it. There's probably some familiar voices in there that you'll recognize other than me that made it into some of the clips. So. We're friends. I know. Shocking, <laughs> right? I sound like. I don't know. I feel like <laughs> it still feels surreal. Feels fake. Mood. It is. This is this, we're not friends here, guys. We are. We are. You know. This is a. This is. A, this is a business. We are colleagues. We're co workers. Okay. Well, actually, now you mention it, hmm? I also made some real life friends, which is insane for me. What? <laughs> that is fucking okay? crazy. Are you the same I was person? literally out this afternoon playing chess with a real life friend. Playing chess? Oh, yeah, guys, man. he's so cool. He goes out and plays chess. <laughs> I was about to say you're no longer a loser, but you're playing chess. Get so. out. <laughs> it was with a member of the opposite sex, though, so does that make it more cool? Oh, that no. Makes it, no. It makes it, that makes it worse. cringe, if anything. I can't yeah. talk to women, but I play chess with them. Well, Yo, we talk while we play chess. Damn. Yo, did you play... Are you sure you play chess, not Queen's Gambit the game? <laughs> Queen's Gambit the game. Please <laughs> just... Bro, I'm happy for you, dude. I'm happy for you, bro. <laughs> Guys, listen. I made real life friends. So what? I play chess with them. We're all here playing D and D. I want to. I want for context. Yeah, this game's so nerdy. Uh, we all we got virginity all back. Clacked. Okay. I want chat I to know for context. He shredded me before we went live. So this is deserved. Who shredded you? Hold on. You. For what? I shredded for you when we got I've live. Call you a bellend when we play Baldur's Gate. Look, right. the only person to be meaner to me today was Soko, <laughs> and what he said, I can't repeat on Twitch. True. Okay. I'm with sure that, you could. With that, with that Okay, said, I'm not going to. I'll say it. Said, you made that sound so quiet. much worse than what I actually said. Shut the fuck up. Uh, let's uh, let's go back. Let's let's get get into the swing of things, huh? Um, it's been a while since we uh, last played, so I, I wrote a bit more of an extensive uh, recap, and then uh, we'll just fucking. Dive yeah, right back into. There is no session, guys. It's just a recap. The swing of yeah. things. Let's turn the music down a wee bit. There we go. Um. <clears throat> so last we left off, uh, the party had recently traveled to Port Denilo to uncover Jax's past and help him avenge his fallen family. A man named Ricard Pierslow had slowly been driven to madness and had plans to send a gigant gigantic Arcanite golem set to explode uh, on its way to Eldilon. The party stopped him, dismantled the bomb. Um, with that in the past, the party had little time to rest as they immediately headed to Alphadil, a small settlement north of Port Danilo, because they are on 
the, or in the search for a man named Grodir uh, to learn more about Elazarin's connections to the Override and the uh, Earth and Elemental Lord Grumbar. Once you arrived, you were greeted by a clerk for the Arcane Guild, who are set up here because they are researching an Arcanite mine nearby, or an Arcanite scene within a mine. Uh, upon arrival, you enter the town's local tavern, the Squeaking Wagon, owned by Nisar, a black dragonborn. And he told you guys that Grodir, uh, the manager you were looking for, is an Earth Ganassi that eats dinner at the tavern almost every night, so you're welcome to wait. Um, while waiting, you discovered that one of the people in the tavern um, was a member of the Nightwebs, and after some, you know, you know, trying to deduce who it was, uh, you eventually figured out because the one person that left uh, was uh, <clears throat> when that person left, the Nightweb presence also disappeared. It was a half elf woman named Verilil, who was also a member of the uh, Arcane Guild. Um, but she left the tavern, and that is where we left off. Um, the sun is slowly beginning to set, uh, as you all kind of like scramble back together, you know, kind of like chaotically, like, what the fuck? Um, sun is slowly beginning to set. Evening is beginning to fall. What would you like to do? Evening fell. That's where we're starting? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> What confirmed very little Um, we used it. They again. left, it, and when they the left, necklace. the detector the, the stopped moving. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we That's go right. kill them, right? No. No, yeah. we don't well, kill them. Well, we could people. kidnap them. No, we don't. What part of... We need to not make ourselves known. It's gone over well, your head. she's going to make us known. Oh, she won't. Did you think she doesn't know who the fuck you are? I stand out like a thumb. There's a chance she doesn't. And huh. there's no point in giving ourselves away. Yeah, there's a chance she's With murder and well, kidnapping. Hi. I'm just That's saying. not really murder, it's a public service. Um, it's, if, 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 there if there was... we wake up and you're <laughs> dead, then I call dibs on your stuff, so. Go ahead. If there... if I'm dead. Well, if he's dead when we wake up, we're probably dead. If there mm. was somehow a way 50 -50. for Brooks to follow her very stealthily I could try and possess her and she wouldn't know and then I would just get to see like where the hideout is where she's gonna go what they're gonna talk about it's a very risky plan I'm not saying it's a good idea I'm just putting it out there the only it's... downside is Brooks would need to stay within a hundred or however many like whatever my leash is if yeah, my that, memory that tells sounds me correctly like... didn't someone invisible Walk through the tavern and she could see them? Brooks. Brooks did. Brooks. Yeah, nah, yeah, okay. Because that's what also made her seem sketchy. She made eye Just contact with invisible Brooks. From that, I'll say that uh, <laughs> she. It's safe to assume that she knows something is up about you. You don't know. It's not safe to assume that yeah. she knows who you are, but it's safe to assume that she knows She's that interested something, in us. She, something's up. She knows that we're weird. Well. I mean, we're, we you're is... traveling with a ghost. So, we, <laughs> we, already official, weird. we go through the official channels, you know, I can contact the Primus, <laughs> they let them know that there's some within the Mages Guild that can't be, you know, the Magic Guild that can't be trusted, and we know their name, we know what they look like, they can sort it out internally. This is yeah. true, oh. we can just follow Oh yeah, the rules. You're, you're putting we'll a wait. lot of trust in a system that has at least one Nightweb in it. We'll just I'm wait just 28 business days there. for the paperwork to come through, get it there notarized any... by the official sort of... <laughs> You think anything's going to get done if we do that? But we can at least alert them. Yeah, unless... You tell them once we kidnapped and in interrogated very no. well. No. I mean, we well, know... They made, us, they made us the things to detect Nightwebs. Wouldn't that be kind of weird? They give us a tool to find no, out... I mean, I mean the, I mean the Arcane or... Guild. Like, I don't oh, I thought Primus. you meant the I mean, Primus. I was no, saying. but like... I did it when we first landed, and none of them in that room were bad, so... None of the head honchos were there. But, like, one of the people who was expecting us was there, so... Okay, well, the head honchos is bad, then cool, great, you know? Fucking... We could still we do could, it in a we way. We could just, you know, do what we came here for and just have this extra piece of knowledge for our safety. Like, no one talk to her. No one tell her anything. Stay we away don't... from her and the Arcane Guild, period. And, and we, we just also go back to be... looking for this guy. Do our... I think we also at the very least we should be taking watches and we should be using the... Well, weapon. I don't sleep, so I'm, I'm good. 
I'll, I'll we're, I mean, we should be using the fucking in our chats in 2024. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'll be using it in wild. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as you are having this uh, this discussion, uh, the door of the tavern swings open, and in walks uh, a male humanoid uh, figure. This like green crystalline. Uh, patches all over his skin and where his hair would be um, it's also completely been replaced by these short spiky green crystals and he greets Nisar with a very hearty hello and uh, goes to sit down kind of like looks around the place and uh, yeah, he just sits down but uh, given the description or the fact that you're looking for an earth ganasi uh, you're all very pretty sure that this is the man you're looking for bro dear bro dear can I use two charges for my necklace to just uh, start that race to see if he's a night web? Yeah. <laughs> and nothing sort of nothing pings. Can't wait Imagine. to find out that like only nice this only works on like low level night webs and the primes <laughs> do that. I would never. He would. <laughs> he would. <laughs> no, uh, your so, uh, your night web detector does not. I have a potentially. Unethical solution. What? I don't I'm like all, the sound I'm of all it. Ears. So, if we <clears throat> went to Verilo, we could use the madness that I had on her. What? Why are we because fucking with it, her? Or, hold on. Let me explain. Because then, if it makes her paranoid and jittery, no one will believe a word she says. I'll be honest. What we have left it far too long to follow them at this point. She's probably long gone by now. That is not the worst idea. No, it's not, a, it, it's not a good one. Well, I think we are past monster. the point of being able to do anything, as much as I hate to admit it. We just need to keep a watch. But and... if we cross our path again, you could always just, oopsie, I dropped it. Oh, oh no, if we if we cross our path again, we make sure she disappears. But no, what, Why are we making people... What part <laughs> of don't upset this balance and making sure the people aren't yeah. here? Someone disappears, suddenly, oh, they know we're here. Right now, they don't know that they we're here. They already know that we're here. No, they don't. But they, they don't, don't know, know that. that we know. No, don't do that. You don't know any of this. How are you, you so sure? You of all people. What? You're being paranoid. should know that you're big on their shit list. We're all big on their yes, shit list. okay. And do you know what being big on a shit list means? It either means everyone knows who you are or no one does. Because they don't want to know that there's someone they want. So don't tell people. Is, either is everyone it just knows me or already. Is he not making sense. Either everyone no, that knows already. No sense to me. Either I, everyone I knows already, that. or they want to cover this up and make sure that no one knows that we ever existed. They don't want to. We're a weakness. They them. will kill us in our sleep and leave bodies, and they're okay only with that. Certain people will know that. <coughs> not everyone oh, only certain connected. people will. I guarantee. There's Brooks, fucking. You don't understand how this organization works. Not everyone knows fair, everything. Brooks is also very biased because he got you know stabbed and almost died so he's he's gonna assume that's gonna happen when you go off on your own because that's what happens to him when he goes off on his own he did get stabbed oh. and almost died in the middle of the street yeah yeah and he wasn't even alone yeah do you know who, do you know who stabbed me by chance yeah no i don't of course i don't <laughs> anyways the that's the guy we're actually here for so we could table this are conversation you just like out louding this while she pointing fucking adrian I... grody over there I'm, I'm not I mean, talking loudly, but yeah, I'm just going to straight up. I mean, she is a ghost like, right now, right? So yeah. I, I'm just, a ghost, like, but I'm out. He, he, I'm, you I'm point at him, visible. And, like, he, just, he just looks at you and just smiles and kind of like kicks As he looks at me, table. I wave. I wave back. And I, just, I, and I go like, I go like, this, like, one second, like to the group. I'm like, so are we. I mean, I'll, I'll go over. It's me they want to talk to. Yeah. And I'll sort of just stand up, bring my drink with me. We're and all just going to die. Go. And just go, and I'll I'll stand at a table and go. I assume you're probably expecting me. He just kind of like looks at you, like eyes you up and down uh, a little bit, and looks back at uh, the you know the curious company you keep, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, looks at, looks you up and down. Lazar and Julius Vino Dunbar. Oh, I have indeed. The very same. I'll put I my hand up to shake it. Uh, yeah. Shake his. He sends to shake your hand. Nice to meet you. He just like looks to the bar. I'll be having my meal a little bit delayed today. 
seems for a conversation that we should have in private. He gets up and your friends are welcome to join them, as this involves all of them, course. I'm assuming. I'll Unless sort you of... plan on Let's go. not having them included and go on this pilgrimage all by yourself. I have this like old look of thinking like, no, they probably should. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll wave over. Yeah, I'm like, fuck guys. Follow me. Go on adventure. And he gets up and he's wearing these like loose robes on his back. You can see uh, kind of like like horizontal on his like lower back. You can see two short swords in, in sheaths. Um, and he's not carrying much, if any, belongings at all, except for like a small like pouch hanging from his side. He, uh, he quickly hops up and uh, escorts you all upstairs. We'll take this to my chambers. And, uh... No, I'll follow. Waits for you all to follow. And he goes upstairs and opens up one of the rooms. And his room is definitely, uh... Like, larger than you expect, a, you know, a tavern room to be. Um, there's a little more furniture there. And, uh, it seems that, um... This tavern, now that you kind of, like, had a, a, a more time to kind of look at it, definitely it seems that this used to just be a house that has been converted into a tavern, and he basically, its room is what used to be, like, the master bedroom. Um, I'm assuming this sounds cool with us just leaving, like, this fucking robo-cat downstairs. Uh, yeah, he doesn't care. <laughs> Otherwise, um, you just hear Brooks like, "Hold on!" and like dragging it like kathunk, <laughs> like one stair at a time. <laughs> All right, everybody, get comfortable, have a seat. Are there like to stand by the door? Are there chairs about? Or is there's there a just... couple. There's two sofas. Uh, there's a couple of chairs by a table, and there's also these like these like floor cushions that he decides to sit on, kind of like you know, crisscross applesauce. Sits on one of the the cushions on the floor. I'll 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 pull up a chair. Right. Well, I'm sure you all have questions. Uh, you, in particular, Lazarin. Um, my name is Brodir, as I'm sure you know. Um, I also go by Voice of the Earth among my peers, but that's you know, you can call me Brodir. It's fine. Alright, so, I'm sure you have questions. How about you let loose, ask how you want, and I'll answer your questions with us, well, to the best of my ability. I mean, questions is a... I don't think I could just ask what the fuck, I mean. <laughs> it's just, there's a lot. I don't think it's hard to put into words what I would like to ask, but... I mean, what's needed of me, I suppose, is the main one. What, why, why, why am I here? What's going on? Well, <clears throat> I'm sure that you're familiar with, well, the override, right? I'm sure you've been informed. I've heard it once or twice. And I've also heard that uh, it has been plaguing, or that the word has been plaguing your family uh, a little bit. And... Um, well, it might be easier if I just show you. And he gets up, and he puts like he, his, his his index and his middle finger of each of his uh, hand and places them on your your temples, and your vision immediately is like it's, you you almost have this like bird's eye view of a large battlefield. On one side, all these dragons of different colors and different uh, metals clashing with these different elemental forces all, all banded together fighting each other off and then suddenly you hear this loud crack as the earth itself splits open and from inside this crack in the earth just this pulse of energy escapes in instantly just in, in s disintegrating a large chunk of the nearby draconic forces and then your vision comes back to the room you are just stay seated i know that 
might be a bit disorienting, but goodbye. almost like full of my chair, just like like a wall. Did we watch? Did we watch Lazarin have like a, a seizure moment? Like, well, you, 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 you saw his off. eyes kind of like fog over a little bit while while Grodir put his hands on 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 his temples and um that crack of energy you saw. That's the override. Is how to explain. The elemental forces came together to create a break the glass in case of emergency kind of weapon. A weapon powerful enough to, as you saw, eradicate anything nearby. It won us the war. So it's safe to say that we don't want this weapon to fall into the wrong hands. You, now that you kind of like think about it, Elazarin, mm. you have this weird feeling of like, it, it seemed very familiar to you. Not like, not like you've been there, but it just seems like you've, you've, you've seen this scene before, but you can't remember when or how. We believe, well, the fact that you are here proves that you, there's no easy way to say it, mm -hmm. but elemental lords, they choose a champion. And he points at, um, at Davian, right? And your friend that's missing, she also has a bigger part to play. We believe, well, Grumbar, he doesn't just stick with one champion, he... <sighs> he chooses a bloodline. And then when one champion dies, the next champion gets born from that same bloodline, and so on, and so on. And here you are. Your family comes from a long line of... Champions of the Earthen Realm, Plane of Earth, and you are just next in line, as fate would have it. On our search to awaken the champion, um, try to awaken your grandfather. He couldn't handle it. Um, your father handled it a bit better, but he's gonna need some time to recover but you you're here not gone mad because of the earthen ramblings and rumbling you've been hearing which means you're the one just a little bit of pressure then oh well at least you have some friends that share your destiny so to say Maybe you can seek comfort in that. I'm, I'm sure you don't believe that your group being put together was mere circumstance, right? I mean, we've heard that word a lot. Circumstance and destiny and... It's just a lot to, you know... A little think... uncomfortable to think about. Yeah. Sort of thing of fairy Salisbury as well, you know, it's... Uh... I, I understand, and I'm, I'm here Hot to... Shirty. Well, I'm here to make a Lazarin's path to accept his destiny as, as convenient as possible, but if there's anything I can do for you um, all, feel free to ask. Uh, I'm here to help, as it's it's my duty as the voice of the Earth. Is I, He speaks through me, and I uh, make sure that whatever he tells me to, to do gets done. And, well, Lazarin, you just happen to be my next assignment, so to say. Well, your group have been have traveled to this continent each with your own goals in mind but there's more to play you are destined to do great things and I'm just here to make sure that I 
do my part and to ensure that you do your part when the time comes. I have booze in the cabinet, if that would make things easier. <laughs> no, I need a clear head for this. Um, it's just... It's a, it's a lot. It's a, I understand. A lot going on. Um, you know. Yes, and it also happens, you know, to be... No coincidence that you are so familiar with these nightwebs. A group present on this continent wanting to... Well, I don't know what this incarnation of the organization wants, but... Let's just say that their previous... Uh, well, they weren't called the Nightwebs back then, but... Their previous incarnations all had the same goal in mind. Control the override by whatever means necessary. So I doubt that this version of their group. I thought they just yeah. wanted to destabilize society and all these other things. Like, I I didn't think they were involved. Did you tell us that, Elazarin? I don't remember telling well, us that they were involved with the override. how better to destabilize... Yeah, we, we, we did know that. How better oh, okay. to destabilize Either civilization way. than putting a weapon <laughs> over their head that could destroy everything if they don't fall in line? I guess. What were these other groups' uh, names? Half. Uh, there's been various names. Nightwebs this time around. Uh, I believe their, their first name or their first group was made exclusively out of well, dragons and their kin. Right? Kobolds, dragonborn, half dragons. Um, no working. No working. <laughs> um. And they were they were known they were known as the primals. They were there to to to, to basically specifically counter everything the elementals stood for. Um, they failed, and you know as as Elasrim just witnessed, the elementals won the war, and for the last. A millennium or so, not more. Uh, they've tried again and again and again and failed. But this time, things are different. This time, they've grown very strong before they decided to reach out for their true goals. Which is why this time, things are a little more serious. Why the elemental lords are reaching out to their champions, their believed champions. Because, as much as I hate to say it, we don't think we can win the fight this time around on our own. We need help. You're the cavalry, say. But we don't ride horses. Oh, I could arrange a few horses if that makes it better. Yes, please. Of course, you'll have your horses. So... Don't ever say I didn't do anything for us. <coughs> I, I don't need a horse. I mean, you've done plenty for us, have you? I, I'm not informed of all of your parts in this. All I know for certain is, is about Lazarin's part, given that, well, I into my camp, so to say. Uh, I'm sure that... Uh, well, Abion, I'm sure you've been summoned to, to pay us all Kasuth a visit at some point, right? Yeah, gotta go to the city of Brass at some point or another. Don't pack your winter clothes. It's quite steep. You don't say. And I'm sure that wherever your friend Kess is, that she's been in talks with a dad and a granddad about her part to play. Yeah. Elemental plane of air is on the books for that one. And, well, given Estisha's betrayal, I doubt we can count on him in the upcoming confrontation, which 
makes things a little more complicated because it's not mine to tell. We'll find out. Well, why don't you could just tell us? Make a persuasion check. <laughs> First roll. First roll. Fucking bullet dice. Let's see how it goes. The old man being yeah, like, but, but you could tell us. Not a tell terrible him. first roll for that dice. We love it. Uh, you said persuasion? Yes. Negative four. 16? Well, do you think it's a coincidence that this group happens to have a man in their midst that is has lived most of his life on the seas, navigating the waters? <laughs> it's the, he, he just uh, looks at you, Jax. It's like crowd looks at <laughs> Jax. Like, oh, <laughs> surely he didn't think that was Winky D. Why don't I figure that I'd be dead at this point? To be honest, <laughs> a safe assumption. No, um, but with Estesha's betrayal, well, you still have a part to play. Uh, it's just that. The man that was supposed to bring you in and all this stabbed all of us in the back and wandered off with this sea witch. So, doubt we can count on him. I'll blame him. Sounds like a pretty sweet who, dude. Who was that? Huh? Uh, who wandered off? Estisha. Estisha! Water uh, elemental! Oh, no, I, I thought you meant, uh, like, she already had, like, someone else at, like, no, well, he uh, yeah. betrayed uh, yeah. us by wandering off with the bitch queen, right? Ah. Uh, that whole thing. Um, but that being said, you still have your part to play. As someone with knowledge of, well, the waters and everything that comes with that territory is still necessary. So you still have your part to play, Jax. It just won't be under the guidance of Estisha, as I mentioned before. If Jax becomes an elemental lord, I'm never drinking water again. None of you are becoming elemental lords, don't worry. You are their I champions, though. Their, their, their chosen avatars. Some of you. It's not not like, it's not like I'm listening yeah. in, but I am trying real hard to avoid being perceived right now. Like, I mean, not actively stealthing away, but just like, fuck this. I mean... And then that brings me to, you know, obviously... Dagon and, and Brooks, you don't have any links with direct links with the elemental lords, but you also We're just their muscle. We're there to protect them. That's what we do. Well, there's yep. more in store for you two as well. But sadly, I don't like that. I am not at liberty to say. And no, unlike Absolutely Jax's thing, I really can't. Fine. <laughs> um, no. So what is what is it that we have to well, I have to do, I suppose, is well, you to accept this mantle or have this to charge. Get an audience with the Urban Lord himself. But that is a little <laughs> hard as he he cannot fully remain on this plane of existence uh, anymore as things have changed. Um, so what we are doing, well, the reason I am here is I'm Helping the Arcane Guild with their Arcanite research because, oh, I'm the only man in the neighborhood that happens to know a lot about Earth and mining and... <coughs> but the real reason I'm here is that within those same mines, hidden deep beneath the places they are digging at, lies an artifact. An old artifact of Rumbar himself, which I've been tasked with Retrieving. We are tasked with this re retrieving. He looks at Elasrin. It lies within an ancient altar to Rumba that dates back to the elemental dragon war. And if we power up that altar again, you'll have your audience, Rumba himself, and take things from there. I'll be accompanying you on this adventure, of course. As I, I assume know my way. you are aware of the Arcane Guild being infiltrated. Uh, 
Well, it's safe to assume that any powerful establishment will have some of their members twisted and corrupted by the night webs, yes. Do we need to take care of them? I have a sneaking suspicion that your presence in town has already alerted them, and they are going to reveal themselves very soon to try and take care of you. But I'm sure there won't be a problem. You seem like you can handle yourselves. Mm -hmm. Be nice if we had a little more time, but when do we ever have time, so... Unfortunately, the fate of everyone in the realm is at stake, so time is not a luxury we can afford. Oh, so no pressure, an easy task, just, you know... Yeah, you'll be fine. Well, then they should... I feel like everyone should know that the fate of the realm is in the hands of a group called the Ragtag Fuckwits, because that's pretty name. funny. It's not our name. It's not our name. This is, and it's pretty good. Very good. Just look at, look at that, like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's literally that, it's that, like, no of, like, really not now, not in front of this guy, please. <laughs> please, no, please, God. So, uh, I understand that you would like some rest, so whenever you want, you are free to help yourselves to uh, some of the free rooms up here. I've already made sure of that, and um, tomorrow morning, oh. bright and early, I would like to set off to the mines. I know I know the passageway to take. I've covered it up so that the other miners and, and arcane guild members don't think twice about venturing that way. I have a question. Of course. Is it in the interest of the elemental lords to bring back the storm? that separated this continent from the one further south? I... yes. And I understand that brings some... well... issues, given that a lot of people live here. Why didn't you destroy the weapons? Why wasn't the weapon destroyed, like, you know? Previously, because destroying the override would destroy the entire plane of existence. It would all be. Who makes gone. a weapon like that? <laughs> Who does that? A handful of gods accompanied by the elemental lords. I'm sure it's not your place to speak on such things. But, you know, if we help you with this, um,. Surely we could barter some sort of agreement on behalf of the material folk. Move it. That, you know, stops you completely separating the civilizations that have formed here from the old world, for want of a better word. He looks at you and he, like, breaks off one of his, like, crystals on his head. And, like, looks, like, looks into it, stares at it pretty, like, intently. And unpockets it. You would have to come up with some real good arguments, but um, nothing's impossible. I'm sure we can. I understand your sentiments. I live here too, right? And I. It's not sentiment. Well, it's. I understand your, where you're coming from. It is just, the fear is. That with this continent revealed, um, it will bring a lot more danger to the entire realm compared to it being concealed. If you find a way to prove or to convince the Elemental Council that that isn't the case, who knows? I have ideas, yes. but we'll talk about yeah. it when we're closer to the time. Yes, that's uh Save the world first. Well, baby steps. Let's first find that artifact and then big task, like big umbrella, small task, oh. subtask, no, focus I on the small that. tasks. The... Yeah. So how far away are these mines? About an hour. Yeah, they're not far. 
No, I don't. Well, I don't know about you all but I am. It's been a lot. It's been a day. It's been, it's been a day. And I, I understand. And I wish I... I'm at Jax as I say that as well. <laughs> like it's, I, I, I would have brought you the news a little more elegantly, but I feel like yeah, it's... Pretty, tearing off the bandage in one go would... It's the better way of doing this. Even that, we um, don't really have the luxury of I mean, all things. the secret bullshit that's been going on in the most recent weeks. I'm happy to be told directly this is what's happening and this is what needs to happen. It's oh. um, refreshing. Before I forget, and he digs around in his, oh in his pocket and he hands you a ring. Uh, Alas, okay. right? Yeah. Uh, the Earthen Lord has instructed me to, to hand you this. Um, which will give you but a taste of the potential in your connection to the elemental plane of Earth. Uh, so here you go. And he hands you this, like, crystal ring. Uh, and it's okay. like a mix of, like, this green crystal, kind of, like, with, like, obsidian, like, black obsidian seams. Hello, it's a green lantern. Uh, <laughs> fuck <laughs> off. Uh, and you like can add... Uh, on D Beyond, you can add Grumbar's touch to inventory. I knew a girl with the Grumbar's touch. And, you know, feel free to read out the, you know, all that. She's Grum got it all, she's got <laughs> too much. This ring is made from beautiful bright green crystals with streaks of oxygen. This ring is filled with two charges. Wearing this ring will allow users to cast the Invis... I can't read that. I can't say Why that word. Why did you word. make read? Investiture of stone spell at the expense of a charge. That's expanding a spell slot. Any expend charges will recharge after long rest. And then the like... Law. When Grumbar led the earthen forces against the armies of dragons and their ilk, they made their caves and fortresses their own trap, moving through walls like air, surprising their enemies even with the assumed safety of their own homes. Dude, uh, Investiture of Stone is a cool spell. Yeah, I do not know the spell. Yeah. It's, you get resist. Basically, it makes like you get like a rocky mm -hmm. casing around your body, skin, so you get resistant. But... To, but it's more than that. You get resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from non-magic, and you can use your action to make a small earthquake on the ground centered around you, and, and it would knock people you will prone. Be able and to move yourself yeah. through solid Difficult stone terrain. as if it's air, you can literally like yeah. move through anything made of stone as if it's just air. And if you move through it, if you stay in it, you get stunned. Yeah, well, yes, but... yeah, but that's normal. That's like yeah. I, I mean, that the implication, me, but the implication there being that like this is the power that a lot of the earthen forces use to sneak yeah. into. I'm just like, picturing yeah. a Lazarin making his dome, flying up to the air to be out of reach, encasing himself in stone, and just fuck <laughs> pulling <laughs> into the fucking ground. <laughs> Dude, like Kirby! Oh my god, you can just like, slam <laughs> down on people. Kirby. Fuck off. Yeah, the Kirby down B. And yeah, snack. yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. yeah. He got a big enough mouth, too. And it lasts 10 minutes, and it's a concentration spell. And he sucks spell. real good. It do be concentration. <laughs> cool, love, I love that for me. I love that concentration. Love that concentration. I mean, it's a pretty powerful spell, man. <laughs> True, it is real powerful. I have enough of those. <laughs> um, all right. I'm, I'm sure that I've... Um, Cause a lot of, you know, mental upset among oh, you all, fine. and I feel like I've done my part for now. So how about get some rest? And tomorrow morning, bright and early, we cut off to mines. Sounds like a hell of a plan. And if there's anything I will you have to ring, ask or saying that. need for me in the meantime, my door will be open. My, well, hmm. So now that's all. Can we? Can you uh, guarantee us a, so, so, some some privacy? Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. He hands you a couple of keys, and uh, basically they're labeled. Uh, with the room numbers, and it is the two rooms uh, next to this one. Uh, it's given you those two keys. Alright, I'll be here if you need me, and if not, then I'll see you. Yep. I will just grab one of the keys, 
and fuck it and go into whichever room that is. <laughs> Is he leaving us in this room, or are no. we leaving you this are, room? You are being no, leaving this room, this room. <laughs> okay. this room. and going into others. I'm just giving you two key. room keys for other rooms on this floor, and he's, he's, he's ushering you out. Okay, we've been dismissed. Yes, <laughs> I, I'm just picking picking a random key and looking at my room number is probably like the left. Is it the one on the left? I assume it's left and right, or is it like opposite? So uh, just a, like yeah. the the room oh. next to this one and the one. Behind, next to oh, I'll go. It'd be the Do they one, have right? a conjoining door? No. <laughs> yeah. Kind of mega door, boys. No. I mean, I was saying mega door. <laughs> yeah, I thought so as well. <laughs> Just not mega door. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah. I will. So I'm in the further room away. This one I go to. I will go with, with the Lazarin into his room. Oh, my eyes is so itchy. Wow. Stone itch. Yeah, get out, give a little polish, put it back in. Well, like a ragetti. Yeah. It's true. <coughs> so, what, uh, what do you guys all do? I will go once, through the once, Lazarus not in. Once it's just me and Lazarin. Okay. I listen to the door to make sure no one's listening in. Is anyone <laughs> attempting to listen in? I mean, I wasn't, but... Well, specifically the stone man. I mean, that's no, the only I mean, one. Now, now, now I'm yeah. sort of no, tempted. Okay. No, he's not. Don't hear him. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling. I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, uh, this can only end well. And... <coughs> I hope if Kess was here, because... Oh. Uh, well. I uh, don't... Uh, as bizarre as it sounds, her input might actually be valued for once. Um, Black hand and clone. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Love that band. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, except it's called Septimon. Oh, I was just <laughs> thinking of the. I was thinking of the Hex Girls. But... <clears throat> no, that's so, the Hex Girls. When this all blows over, if this all blows over. <laughs> And it comes down to figuring out the whole storm situation. I might have a bargaining chip in mind. Um, but I suppose it, it really sort of hinges on how willing you are to dedicate the remainder of your life um, to being some sort of guardian for... Uh, uh, the elementals. Because I have a feeling that's what it's going to take. I... To be fair, your whole bloodline, doomed. That... So, <laughs> might as well start now. That is a tough one for me to choose. <coughs> I this feel is... like I owe uh... a lot to a lot of forces. And it'd be hard for me to be subservient to just one. But I don't knowing know what full well that to do with that. the fruit of thy loins will also be called upon at some point by. Oh, not necessarily. I've got siblings. Okay. They've got. They'll probably have children. <clears throat> yeah, but you're Still... the stone man now. So yes. why would it be their kids? They aren't. I might not have kids. Who knows what could happen? Well, someone's going to be really upset. <laughs> it's a much easier conversation. When it's like, well, your dad and your dad's dad. But when it's like, oh, well, your uncle. That's kind of. Fun. You know. <laughs> That's. Kind of... That's... <laughs> yeah. All I'm saying is, you're pretty much. Oh, doomed. Or whoever you're, you're in for the long run. Your yes. kid, in for the long run, and if we can say to the council of fucking elementals, "Hey, <coughs> please keep the borders open." I don't know. Um, you know what I'm trying to say. Please okay. don't block off the entire continent for the sake of the material. What? What's what? The, what? I was going to say mankind, like but it, I feel like that's a little like, bit exclusive. Isn't like. Also keeping it like, you know, hidden, right? Surely there's a chance it could come 
Arnhedon again, and we have this whole situation, if not worse, because they'd be more powerful. Like, that might be thousands of years well, in the well, future, well, but, well, like, it doesn't help. We shouldn't... What I'm saying is we don't keep it hidden. No, that's what I'm saying. I right. Agree. And a lot of us say, all right, we will be the keepers of the... I think it's because too we... early to have... Uh... It's a good idea. I, I'm saying, you know, definitely. Oh, no, oh, one I know of, it's early. One, I know it's early. Other things one might of come our up. I'm just saying chip. right now. That's, that's where our it stands. Main chip. Yes. I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. Because what was I doing before this? Fucking I making love... maps in the woods. What was I doing? Now I'm, you know, and at some point I'm going to be like, oh, I'll probably settle down and I'll start training people to make maps of the woods, but also, you know. But the Oh, yeah. I mean. Just somewhere on on Agrand, there's what portals to the elemental planes. Mm -hmm. Direct. I mean, we we cross past the one that was protected by the Triton, right? I mean, mm -hmm. it might come. You know, maybe Jack retires in a ship on that lake, and he makes sure oh, no one goes Jack fucking around. You know, you think Jackson survived that long? Jesus, <laughs> I mean, against the odds, he's made it hundreds of fucking years so far, and he seems mm -hmm. like the type that will make it hundreds. Or just Watch it be Jax. Life. Jax is gonna be the one who outlives us all. Just yeah, Jax to fight us. And us Jax all. is gonna yeah. write our memoir. He'll be the last <laughs> one. It, it'll wow, be like I'm pissing it, on it, your it, <laughs> Whenever, whenever Ow. the Legend of Korra a campaign does, but... comes around yeah. and we're all dead and gone, it'll be Jax that's teaching the new. You know. <laughs> How does he do it? <laughs> Mystery man. He just looks like a fucking prune with a fishing rod at this point. He's like, <laughs> remember when Davian and... Uh, it's like... Chocolate. So, you know, that's... That's what I've got. That's all I can think. Because, oh. it, you know, I'm the first you. generation of Briars to grow up on this continent and... I can't imagine the havoc it would wreak if the continent was all of a sudden cut off entirely from, you know, the it's old the world. We've made. I mean, are they, it all depends. Are they saying that they're going to kick everyone who's on the island who's not native to? I, well, I, I don't. It's the whole generation. I don't think so. Native to but, the island. But, but well, cutting, them off, cutting them off. Think what, we, okay, yeah. we might be self-sufficient, but you're cutting people off from their families and and businesses and and trade routes and the whole place is going to be turned upside down and we can't just rely on teleportation circles and whatnot because that has all kinds of limitations that a ship doesn't it's that probably also won't work they'll probably do something to say that magic can't go in and can't cross the threshold in any way you know yeah, well, well, whatever the case yeah. it yeah. remains in the interests of our oh, kind agreed to keep it open and if that means long-term employment, I mean, I've pretty much signed the deal anyway. So be it. I'll fucking live in the volcano. It's definitely worth thinking on. I think we shouldn't be too hasty and decide that's what our bargain I'm not saying, no. We, we, well, he's fucking listening. <clears throat> but... <laughs> Like I said, I'm, I'm already pretty much signed up for life as far as I can tell, so I think it'll be sort of my retirement regardless. But, yeah. you know, with you and Kess, and if Jax does end up roped into this water side of things, if we can all agree, all right, that might be a good, a good bargaining chip in order to convince them not to block off the whole thing. Because, you know, it gives us a whole new purpose. We can start, like... We can have any like, academies and like train little underlings to be like, yeah, protect, we'll protect the fire top mountain or whatever. And uh, you know, who knows? Seems yeah, like I a might, nice retirement plan. Might be charged with other plans and jobs. Like what? You left the fucking church. You're not in the fucking so saucy spider I'm, gang. I may have left the church, but I still get my personal queen, and I have talked to her now. I feel like I probably owe her a bit. Mm. She has saved our lives a lot nice. via me so okay well okay how about this I feel like i do owe a bit of how about this rock man like money rock money man made like... of rock 
Right. What is happening? And when you're, you're a jeweler, you're a fucking you. you and if you're a rock man and a jeweler, you're gonna have the best jewels. You're gonna have the best rocks. Right. Sell jewel, I'm, make money, walking happy. Rock man happy. I'm unsure where my soul lies in all this. Okay, I don't want to particularly want to give it to the wrong person. No one's claiming your soul. <laughs> Unlike has me, like, has like thousand yard stare. Like I mean, <laughs> it quickly devolves. It's the like uh, you've got you you've got some sort of inherited duty to fulfill here apparently, but I mean it's still totally up to you. You could let the world go to shit. That's you know completely on you. I'm just saying they don't own your soul. They just own your children's souls apparently. And right, that's so much better. I don't know if it's the it's not the soul though. It's just I, more I'm, like the physical being. Right, but that's what I'm saying. Kind of. is, Maybe, maybe we don't know. That's what I'm saying. We don't. We don't know what this. Oh, I think be. there's a lot. You're just no, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. A lot's happened to have you. Let me be honest. It's been a hell of a day. They're not. They're not gods, right? I mean, okay. relatively speaking, you know, Joaquin right. kind of shits all over all of them. It's still uncomfortable. I'm sure, but you're. You know, it's not your soul. It's not your soul. It's just you, the time you spend on this physical plane might have to be dedicated to protecting. Well, I might not be on this plane. You might, you might say yes, and it's like, oh, off to the other plane. No, what are you going to do there? I don't fuck exactly. I don't know. Their interests lie in keeping the physical the material plane access so. points to the <laughs> elemental planes on the material plane safe. So we stay on the material plane. Until our day's done, and then Joaquin goes, what? and you're gone. Presumably, after you make bank being the world's most ludicrously rich gem miner or whatever, because you can swim through rocks now or something. Right. Anyway, <clears throat> your soul's fine. I hope so. I just like tap him in the middle of his sternum. Everything in there is all right. I, it's just an idea, but I think that's probably what it's going to come to. And honestly, it would be nice to not be the only one. So You know me. I like a good deal. I like a good mm. <laughs> mm. Art of the Deal so, was huh. the name of your the book that you wrote, right? Oh, yes. That I wrote. Yeah, no, the Art no. of the Deal. <laughs> Actually, it was his dad. But... My dad's dad's my granddad. Oh, yeah. right. And he gave you a small loan. Yeah, small one. Uh, and, um, and, an, and an emerald mine. And an emerald mine. <laughs> Elon um, Trump. <laughs> Donald Musk. Right. Well, fucking... Anyway, that's all I had to say. I I, I don't like the... Trans you probably love the transactional nature of it all, but... Uh, you know. Love is a strong one, but yeah, I mean, it makes it a lot easier. Sort of understand that it's just you know a transaction or you know uh, what are we what are we doing this all for you know Save what if we the didn't world, apparently then we are dooming a lot apparently yeah, but we oh, no 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 we're not because we could just go meet up with Celeste fuck off to the astral plane and never come back bro feel like somehow they would still know how to find us but for what reason. Oh no, the material plane's falling apart. They'll just make a new one. I. At the end I... of the day, we've we've been we didn't get to pick sides. We got picked by a side, and we're just kind of going along with it because we feel like we owe them something. But we could just we seriously just go <coughs> space and not look back. Rocket ship time. Phil, I mean, we could. There's a lot of things we could do. We could join the night modes if we really wanted to. Well, that would be stupid, though, because you definitely can't go back. <laughs> I'm sure if I could... I'm just saying we've got options. Kills on the spot. We do have, <laughs> we options. have options. Oh, yeah. Is, is you know, the ethically the, the most... Like, yeah... I would rather not fuck off to the astral plane and let everyone here die. 
I'm just saying we could. I might bring my family. We could make new, new Briar's Town in space. Space! The one place not corrupted by capitalism. Oh, I'll make sure it's corrupted by capitalism after I'm Yeah, of course you fucking will. Right, <laughs> I'm going to bed. Um, Before I go to bed, I will cast Sending um, to the Primus Bothero and um, just say um, Arcane Guild uh, infiltrated half-elf of uh, a oh, very little is a night web here um, in Afodil. Uh, worth keeping on, maybe investigate. We'll try to keep away. Takes a few minutes, but eventually you get a reply. She can reply, right? Yeah, you can words. reply to something. Yep. Thank you. Be cautious. Look into it. If confronted, feel free to use lethal force. Uh, is Davian paying attention to me at this time? <laughs> I've done clean sending. Wait, don't bad force. That's fine. You're still muted, Duke. What's the rooming situation? Uh, you got even you two rooms, room. and there's, uh, well, there is three beds in each, but given that there's five of you, so you know, you have options. I won't sleep, so. I mean, I guess I would be sleeping in this room, so, like, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm here. Before we go to bed, I will try and ask yeah, someone yeah, gonna, to help us lug to my that, body upstairs. Like, <laughs> you would have heard. While they are having that, like, you know, they have, have were having that conversation, what, what were you guys doing? The other room. Logging the body upstairs. Yeah, other than getting <laughs> Robo Body yeah, up to our probably room, getting there, uh, nothing there. specific. I am going to put an alarm spell around the room. Okay. I also guess I just ask Jax how when we have time. Also, right now we don't really have time, and it's not utmost importance. But how long he thinks, like looking at the damage that was done to it, how long he thinks it would take him to fix it, and I obviously would be happy to help. With I have to use my mage hand gloves to touch things and help but i can help um after i string up my tin cans i'll uh <laughs> i'll take a look at the body see see how bad it's hurt and yeah, what like, it may um, require to repair it make an investigation check uh a 15. given the damages that it has suffered uh if you have the supplies, this can be fixed in a matter of days. Uh, you do know beforehand that you won't have the supplies, though. Mm -hmm. I got some arcanite. That's what it means. Yeah, you will need just 400 gold worth of straight-up raw materials like metal and, and whatever. And um, it would definitely also need... A new, <clears throat> a new Arcanite core, which I think I do have have, one. I think you may have because you opened that statue, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, because I stole the one out. Yeah, so it would need that plus four hundred four hundred gold worth of just like raw materials. Okay. Uh, if you ha happen to you know have all of that, yeah, you can have this fixed in a matter of a uh, few days. Given that you know, say. If you were to tinker about four hours a day, this would be like a three-day thing. So 12 hours worth of tinkering total. So, okay. So potentially I could do that in one day if I worked from like seven to seven. I mean, if you're a maniac, yeah. Yeah, if we dedicated um, a day. That's all you did. If you were to have a day off, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, it's about 12 hours worth of tinkering and... So what you're saying is you're not gonna give us a day off. <laughs> well, you have something to well, do in the morning, so uh... this, is, this is gonna this is gonna be on the back <laughs> burner for a bit. Up all night. Could you imagine? Yeah, yeah, could you imagine yeah, we just go like, no, sorry, we got something to do first, and it's just all of us sitting in a room watching Jax build a robot. <laughs> without, like, I love the idea like, of Jax. <laughs> this, well, this is gonna happen first. To be <laughs> fair, you guys could go without me with the guy. And you'd Technically, still have, like, a it's not party. a robot. It's like a, 
It's really more of like a. It's, a metal a, a, it's like a. Okay. It's, it's, like a sculpture. it's like a piece of art because it's hollow on the ins. Well, okay. it's not actually hollow. I just like, really but... love this image of like. Robots funnier Jack's... though. Yeah. I love the, this <laughs> image of Jack's like laying the robot out, slowly, meticulously laying his tools out in alphabetical order, killing them, being like, okay, I'm ready for an all nighter. <laughs> <laughs> no, it only takes 12 hours because 11 hours of that is him putting his tools out and like resorting them. <laughs> and millimeter. So really what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pay Nassar to, like, to, to, to like us. store this here for a few days while we're doing shit so that also you can empty the bag of holding and Brooks can have his stuff back. Can I just <laughs> lock it in a Dude, room, I'm going to set easy. up like a booby trap around this thing, huh? Or oh, locked it's not somewhere. Already, it's already a walking booby trap, basically. Um, I mean, I mean, if someone steals it, it there are very few stuff, people that could carry it. Hard to, yeah, it's pretty heavy. It'd be very hard. To, oh, well, I mean, unless you magically stole we'll it. Just leave it in fucking. Uh, uh, b -b 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 leave it in a broom Grodia's cupboard room. in the. In <laughs> no, leave it in Grody's room. In a broom cupboard, it's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wait, if, if Grodier's cool with that, like, can we leave this here? I mean, <laughs> All right. He's traveling with you guys, you said. So. Oh, yeah, but it's his room, isn't it? It's not likely to get rented yeah, out true, in the way that true. ads might. True. All right, well. Either way. Anything It'll else? be left here for a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll relay that to Daigon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Okie dokie. Uh, anything else anyone wants to do before they hit the hay? I... Mm. How late is it currently? Uh, it's not terribly late, but you are getting up bright and early, and you've had a f you've had a fucking a long day, an eventful day. So you you are. We've all had a day that's tired. lasted three sessions. Yeah, it's been a, it's day. been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day. Yeah, fuck it. I am avoiding everyone and just going to sleep in a corner somewhere in a chair. A chair? Okay. There's a bed. Doesn't even take the bed. So okay, you know. dude. Yeah, like. Man's about um, to fucking no, wake up with like, the worst like, life. In a chair, like. In a corner, but facing the door. Bottle if there's a of, like bottle of booze in hand, just like. Is there a window in this room? <laughs> yeah. I want to be in a corner where I can see the door and the window. Okay. Fully just... sober. Okay. That's wrong. Nineteen. <laughs> I honk you instantly. <laughs> just. Honk. That's what you think. I and I'll be Brooks I'll be staying awake Brooks. on high alert for if that very little lady comes back. Okay. So as you all get to sleep, uh, Daigon. Oh no. Um. Can everyone, everyone, deafen for like a quick minute. It'll be real quick. It'll be real quick. So, you know, being told that this group got put together. Uh, by, you know, more than just circumstance. There, it wasn't a coincidence. And and mm -hmm. some people in your group having very clear-cut um, roles, given that yeah. they are the chosen. Uh, you, you know, you... You know, what is my part? What do I do? Um, then you I think, think I but, have an idea. But then you think back to that dream you had before of... This, like, weird place where a lot of different elemental and, and types of land kind of clash in the middle. Uh, and seeing all of these uh, tabaxi, like you, um, no, not all of them hairless, but definitely uh, a lot of them hairless. Yeah. Uh, and it, it, it seems that <clears throat> your, your, your part to play is not clear, but it seems that or answers and information about your own personal mission, finding out what the deal is with being a hairless tabaxi and are there more of me. Um, the answers to those questions definitely lie on the path ahead of you. Okay. Uh, and when you fall, fall asleep, kind of thinking about that, you dream again and you again or I have, have this... my trance. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You you don't fall asleep. Yeah. True. But you're kind of like, kind of like a lost in thought in a way, where you're, yeah. you're awake, but you're kind of like, like daydreaming in a way. It's kind of like, yeah, um, yeah. I forgot you didn't sleep. It's been a while. Sorry. Um, <laughs> my voice is beginning to go. Can you tell? Uh, <laughs> you um, got this. <clears throat> you um, 
kind of see again this 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 group of, of perilous tabaxi living in this like like village at the edge of of where these these lar four large thrones um but this time in the dream you can see the drone the, the thrones are, are are being sat on you can see yeah. all four even astitia all four of the elemental lords you can see the tabaxi living uh, living there happy uh, serving them, working for them. Uh, but they seem happy, and you can't help but wonder if by some stroke of misfortune did you get lost, and, and, and because you've... Like, have, were, have you been there before, but you strayed off the path, and, and, and maybe that's why you don't remember it, and now you're kind of on this mission to, to find it again? Or... Was this is this just a stroke of 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 of, of weird? It's just un unlucky. You don't know, but um, all it's something that kind of like in, inhabits your mind now that you have a little more yeah. context of your people and and that there are more yeah. of you. You you don't you no longer feel alone. In that sense, you now know there is more like me, and that. Got it. Well, you know, I don't know if that would be comforting to Diagon or not, so I'll let leave that up yeah. to you. But uh, ironically, yeah. the most comforting part is again seeing that it seems like the role of this, at least this society of Tabaxi, is partially they like live underneath or in support of the elemental lords because she feels again her job in this party is to support her friends who have these bigger parts to play so to me it's like i'm still living out what they're living out but in my own little small yeah, way yeah no, so it so, feels yeah. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense instead of uh, yeah you're just taking care of their chosen champions yeah, yeah true okay <coughs> good so goes the last because he's so not the key oh there we go as always uh, the rest of you juice. um fall asleep uh it's been a you know it's been a long day you've had a lot of information dumped on you a lot of uh you know this counts a lot of, dump. lot of rugs pulled from underneath you kind of kind of thing um brooks as you get to sleep you just keep oh, thinking back off. about the dream you had yeah fuck off you know all this destiny talk and people with their roles to play your mind just fills with more questions than there are answers at this time. You sleep a little rough. You know, look at you. Look at Fuck you guys, I didn't have a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He dreamt of booze. Come on now. Uh, and with that, I've had two uh, very boost. disturbing dreams in the last like you can all hit week your in game. The indie beyond smile. Or, How much time? I guess that's yeah, indie beyond. So. HP. <laughs> How long has it been since I had the last fucked up <coughs> Oh! Three days ago. <laughs> so I've had two fucked up dreams in the space of three days. Good. That's changing meds will do that to you. Um, and as you wake up, it is bright and early, but you hear, you know, you can see the sun is already beginning to peek uh, through your, uh, your windows. bright and early. No. Some of the some of the birds outside are 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 making a lot of noises. What about the birds inside? Oh, there's no, hey! there's no... oh Ryan. There's Onu. See, I was gonna make a fucking D and D era cockra joke, but then I got it. Uh, shut up. Um, you all wake up feeling well as rested that as you can. Is just full of birds. As rested as you can after uh, the day you had, but uh, oh. it's still very early. Uh, as you're kind of slowly waking up, uh, what would you like to do? Uh, let me have just a quick look at my spell list and see if I need to change any spells. Let's get yeah. shut out. I'll, I'll have a look at my spell list as well. Yeah, go on. Well, we know we're yeah, going I'll down have a look into at my spell list real quick. <laughs> oh, we know we're going God. down into mines to find yeah, things. Yeah, some like so... like stone oh, shape could be pretty good. Sto yeah, uh -huh. same. Oh no, my Riverfire's always prepared for me. I can't even fucking get rid of it. Oh, I son can. Of, son of a bitch. 
Oh, no, it's not. I'll, I'll make sure that I've got all my shit from Jack. I won't need. I don't think I'm going to need water walk for this. Hmm, I don't think that's going to be. You say that, but hey, man, the mine might be drowning. Drowning. <laughs> we're we're drowning. Drowning. We're all drowning on that, like, fuck! I oh, know we <laughs> can't drown. We've all got the caps. Yeah. Yeah. We're drowning no in an cap. underwater lake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> underground lake, that's what I meant to say. I turn Onu into a dog. Let's go. Doggy Onu. Not octopus? Yeah. No. Very rare. For all the, for all the water in the tunnels. For all the water Crap. in the mines, too. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna flood we said, the mines so that the octopus can function. Enough as a, we said it enough, enough as a joke now, but now it's gonna, gonna, it's gonna be real, right, guys? That's how that works. Yes. You got, you got any spells that working at Balrog? It's like my piss kink. Huh? I don't even know what I need to bring, bro. Oh, that, wait, huh? that can you affect one person? Oh, that's cringe. You never heard that, like... Uh, the uh, fucking joke <laughs> about a kink is a gateway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can bring an air bubble. <laughs> one air Why? Else. We can breathe underwater. I suppose we're we're space, though. Too. Space? Space! You've really put it in my head Are now. Are we going to space? Uh, Maybe. I is mine, will. Is this mine full of space? Plane. <laughs> this mine has a portal to the astral plane in it, guys. Yo, let's go hang out with the Gith. And Celestie is there, and she actually, she's actually Vlakith in disguise. Hey, man. Dude likes that. Being on, being, being on the right side of a lich, bro, that's... <laughs> you know. Just blow the cobwebs. Okay. Yo, spoilers. Uh, yeah, did you guys all, all get, get your belongings together, sort your stuff mm -hmm. out, and... Um... As you all slowly... I go downstairs. Is it too early for breakfast? No, because Groder is also awake. And in, you don't see, uh, you know, the tavern keep himself, but you see Groder behind the bar and, like, walking in out the kitchen is whipping himself some milk. He seems very comfortable. He's basically moved Can I make in. a... It's like how me, he is. a friendly giant. I would say, can I make an inside check? Is he... Does he actually own this place? Make an inside check. He's actually the same guy. That's his cousin. Uh, Insight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Earth Elemental. And the uh, that's a 31. You don't think he owns this place, but you do think that he has been here so long that nobody that you know nobody here gives yeah. a fuck what he does. He's like, yeah, Dude, that, that's, that's just grow to you. you know, he can do his thing. The number of times at my work that I have been asked if I'm the owner... Oh, is pretty. ridiculous and let me tell you my ego okay <laughs> holy shit <That's> funny. <clears throat> you're like one day you seem like yes <laughs> bro i i could i could have fucked some shit up people, like people asking like uh if we can like put such and such an event on or like <laughs> so, like whatever if i was just like yeah i'm the owner yeah sure and then they just like show up take payment for it and everything and my boss is like what the fuck is this <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you done um but as you are the first it to get downstairs is. uh brooks uh, grodier does look at you and uh the kind of like walks to the table with a plate in hand and like a like a bread roll in his mouth <laughs> did you make enough for everyone or do i need to put an apron on on the, on this plate. Yes, to the second question. Right. Well, I'll fucking I'll put a couple of gold down on the bar to make up for the shit that we're. Just borrowing. make sure not to. Uh, big pantry off limits. Small pantry. Whatever's in there is yours. Okay. Sure. Uh, don't look at me. I'm just. I'm just saying what's been. What I have been told. After I will stealing look, a few look at... duck eggs from the big pantry and it's all got real. I'll put some a couple of gold by the counter, because then it's not theft. Technically. Okay. Okay, sure. Um and then I will go see what's in the small pantry. <clears throat> yeah, you know, enough you know, some some not fresh fresh, but like bread from the day, from yesterday. Like it was fresh yesterday and now it's just kinda there. Uh, so that, that will still do there's some eggs uh, there's some like jams and, and, and other spreads for for the bread um, 
and uh, some like bottles of of, of juice and uh, other non-alcoholic beverages. I'm gonna be classier than than Grode purely to prove that I can and like uh -huh. slice up the bread and toast it in the pan and make omelets and shit. Oh yeah. Everyone else also go down at some point? They fucking yeah. better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making omelets. And <laughs> I mean, I'll have one existential crisis and I'll go downstairs. Okay. Just, just the one existential crisis. Yeah. Just one, one crisis, please. Uh, as you roll down, uh, Broder looks at you. All right. Uh, good morning. Hope you all slept well, given circumstances. Um. Yes. You all right? Uh, yeah, fantastic. I very ungraciously dump a plate in front of a Lazarin and walk away. There's breakfast. I sort of look and there's something cooked for with that breakfast. I'm joking. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I'm about to go back into a room that has lots of knives. Excellent. Just eating. <laughs> um. Yeah. I. Uh, everything is. Uh, everything just great. You know. No. No problems here. They were just ready for the task ahead. Do people believe you when you spout out utter bullshit like this? Uh, oh, regularly? all the time. Of course they don't. Making sure. But no, actually, to be fair, weirdly, quite a nice uh, night of sleep. Um, I think it feels like I've been waiting to know what this is all about. And yes, I still have my questions. I'm still waiting to see how this goes, but... Some people find comfort in at least knowing why their lives have taken a certain turn, and some people it get the answers opposite. a lot of previous questions that I didn't, stuff I never really thought about in, in you know, my childhood. And I'm thinking, okay, that makes a lot of sense now. Um, well, I mean, but also your, your so family being questions. jewelers, obviously, has always been uh, that pretty obvious urban connection, right? In hindsight, I'm sure. Oh, yes. As I said, there's, there's a lot where I'm like, oh, you know, that makes a lot of Okay, <laughs> you know, but it leads to thousands and thousands more. But... Well, hopefully, once we get to your audience with you're the Lord himself, some more clarity might be given. I hope any conversation I have had with him previously was rather fleeting. Well, yes, that's because... Um, due to... I can understand... Well, yes, but it's also his presence on this plane is very limited to, to um, well, he's not at his highest um, potential, I suppose. Um, mm. And that is in part due to uh, his continuous efforts into he's the, fir the, the he's the first line of defense. So, the war between the elementals and the forces that are trying to take over the override has already started. He is him and his forces are the only ones that have partaken so far, as the rest of the elements are still getting ready to partake. The earthen plane is the first line of defense. So, Rumbar has been busy, and it's weakened him a bit, which is why his connection to this material plane is a bit shoddy, I suppose. But, once we get inside the altar room that I described, where this artifact lies, the connection with him should be a lot more stable. I mean, yes, hope, hopefully. Um, anything I can do to help, at least. Well, <sighs> I'm going to be real honest with you. I have not delved deep enough to actually know what may live in the tunnels that separate the mines from the altar room. All I know is that the altar room itself is sealed away, and you might have to use that new ring of yours to open it from the inside for the rest of us. Um, it's part of the reason why 
it got bestowed on you, so try to make sure that you save at least one charge for when we get there. Um, I've sealed off the entry into the tunnel system that leads there on the surface level near the entrance of the mine. Um, but what lives between that entry tunnel and, you know, well, when we actually get to the altar room, I don't know. You, 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 uh, my, my guess would be your usual, you know, nasty cave dwellers. No, I'm sure, sure there'll be nothing there and it will be completely fine. And... Uh, maybe a land shark or two, who knows. Oh, the headshot. Bullet. Bullet. Um, but, you yeah. know, it'll be alright. Nothing like you. It's not the worst thing you've faced before, I'm sure. I'm sure you've faced far more dreadful things than some nasty cave critters. Oh, yeah, you know, one of the. One of the generals of hell, mm. you know, nothing big. So, you know, all the nice and easy. One of the dark eight, to be specific. I'm sure that won't have ramifications for this world in the future. Right. That sounds like a future world problem. <laughs> well, I'll be honest. We've got a whole lot to save from, you know, <laughs> elementals and. Oh, we never like then, then, so. Yeah, so that's yeah. a future problem. Nothing like a power vacuum, eh? All right. Well, uh, enjoy your breakfast, uh, courtesy of your friend. Uh, and then when you're ready to go, just feel free to uh, let me know and we'll be off. Yep. And I'll just sort of silently just continue eating. All right. Um, I'll be outside quickly uh, grabbing some last supplies. But uh, I'll be back in like a minute or two. So you guys just finish your food and, and whatnot, and I'll be right back. Dips out. Um, yeah, is there anything you guys want to talk about or yeah, discuss? Well, I, I want to use another two charges from my uh, little necklace. Yeah. yeah. It's just to see. Just to double if check, make sure. She's back around or something. Or someone else's. No or someone else. No one in range. All right, How cool. far away is Jax from me right now? Three miles. Oh, wait, Brooks is in your range. Yeah, never mind, you do see one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Funny. No, uh. So you you can't count Lazarin, too. <coughs> Lazarin never got the tattoo. <coughs> well, we can change that. Um. Okay. Fuck it, I'm just gonna lean against the counter, plate in hand, and be quiet for once. Okay. In character. Out of character, I'm still a loudmouth asshole. Alright. Well, if there's nothing anyone wants to say or do, mm -hmm. say that you I'm good. finish your food, uh, grow deer pops back into the bar. He was only gone for like a minute or two at most. Uh, and he's just been sitting there waiting for you to finish your food. And as he sees you all finishing your plates, he just kind of gets up. Uh, he seems quite eager to, to go because you get the sense that for him, this is also a very big deal. Uh, the, you know, finding this this like altar to, to, to the Earth and Elemental Lord. And so he's... I can't invested. imagine why that would be a, a big deal to him. <laughs> uh, so he's also he's very invested in this, and he's he's very like eager to like okay, let's let's go now. Uh, he gets up and uh, looks at you all. Are you all ready to go? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, so. I guess no time like the present. Okay. Uh, I will lead the way. Like I said, the mine is uh, roughly an hour away from here. Um, the workers there won't. Pay us any mind, as I'm clear to be down there, and because uh, I've been assisting, well, I've really been assisting the Arcane Guild. I've just been pretending to keep busy, and they pay me somehow. Um, so I, I've got clearance to be down there. Uh, if they ask, he I'll just, just... He just kind of walks around with a clipboard, like <laughs> yeah. he's got a little hard hat. His little like, he's got, has, he got, has, yeah. he got, has he got like a high vis jacket and a hard yeah, hat in most places? <laughs> Pretty much. Just hey, like... uh, it's looking a little thin over here, guys. You can prop that up a little better. This doesn't uh, look like this. This looks a code. He's mine. This is OSHA certified. 
We're going to have to find you, you for that. It's $10,000. Because the, the tunnel that we're looking for lies quite close to the entrance of the mine, and most of the workers will be way deeper in the mine, so we shouldn't encounter anyone. And if we do, I'll just usher them away. Make up some maniacal task for them to do. Leave us it's alone. on a lanyard that looks vaguely official. <laughs> <laughs> Hard hat and a high vis. <coughs> Oh, <coughs> only two minutes late this time. Wait, he is high vis. I thought you were he's a hard hat. That'd be better, surely, because he's fucking face. And he on. also has a built in hard hat. He does. He does have I've a... got a fucking. Built he's bright green and he's. Still helmet. Yeah. Um, got my little hat too. Yeah, no, but he uh, he guides you out and, and you begin traveling on this, this, this dirt road to. Uh, I wouldn't say like through woods, but there is some shrubbery and some trees kind of like dotted around your path. Um, <clears throat> is there any 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 conversations you want to have on the way? Uh, you any conversations that I I'll keep watch just because I'm be parents fuck, but also like conversation wise, I was just also saying, guys. Oh, last night just so you guys know, I have already heard. Um, I let the um primus know about the uh, arcane guild. Noted. So Good. we'll see them taken care of in about three months. Well, probably. At least they're taking care of it. How many business? Maybe it's high priority care of it today. Yeah, you know, just how many business days? I would like. I don't know how often they work. Like probably two, well, one a month. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. uh, only from the 14th. It's pretty weird. It's pretty weird. <laughs> and occasionally the 22nd, but only on leap year. Only on leap year. Okay. Uh, oh. As you are, uh, like, is anyone like keeping watch? Like, just, like oh, making sure. Yeah, uh, Lazarus said he was. Yeah, yeah okay. I'll, I'll keep a little watch. Like a perception check. Oh, sh fucking which dice? I'll use the weird dice. Sweet. Uh, 15. Yes, sir. You spot it a little late. Excellent. Oh. But there is this oh. bright red, orange, and yellow ball launching from nearby wood, like nearby bushes your way. And it takes you a second to realize, but this is a fireball being launched at you. I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, fuck. Ah! I like Yo, how. Is how this, this something so... I can see? Make a perception no, check. You can't. You're make, blind. I'm make a perception check. Can I oh. give him help? Because I feel like at this moment I've been going. That looks like a fireball. <laughs> I mean, I rolled. Uh, uh -oh. oh fuck. Uh, seventeen. I've only got okay. plus two. Um, guys, what the fuck is that? <laughs> okay. I don't even need to roll, was... man. Dexterity. So uh, basically, do I see it? Do I get advantage on my dex save? Yeah, you do. Cool. Perfect. Sweet. Oh fuck! This is the man. This is only rolled two single-digit numbers. This. <laughs> yeah. They're the same single-digit number. Oh it is not good. Mm. Guys, I rolled great. It's fine. I'm better than Brooks. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, I have a thing for this though. I'm sure I do. <laughs> I have a... Oh wait, I have some bullshit. You have I Asian, swear. Don't you? I, no, I have multiple bullshits. Yeah. He's got, he's got evasion. I think Grodder yeah, also I've got evasion. Thing. Hmm? Rotor has a magic shield that blocks all spells. <laughs> Yo, does this count as a projectile? Fucking. Ah, ooh. Oh, Davian, pop that Holy shit. Real quick. Holy shit. What do you uh, got? Ooh. Wait. Uh, let me double check something. I need to double check. This man has an epiphany and then suddenly he's like, wait. <laughs> Fuck no. Okay. Yeah, that's it doesn't matter. Shit. It's I'm not, not dodging right. this. It wouldn't be considered sure. a range spell attack. No. No. I I no, had a brief it's not, moment. It's not of a range hope. spell attack because that would be a roll to hit and this is a saving throw type. I know. I yeah. just I had a brief moment of hope, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I rolled a twelve. Yeah. Oh. I got a natural one. Oh, no. I got a fifteen. I rolled the biggest thirteen of my life. How did I roll the best? What the f I have resistance to fire damage. So, uh, so I, have plus, I have a plus eight and advantage. So I got ten. Yikes. <laughs> I've, I've, 
I rolled double twos. Yeah, 15 was the highest. Damn. Um, okay. We will fail. Those who rolled mm -hmm. lower than 15. But yeah. Let's go! <laughs> take 34 points of fire damage. Owie. Yeah. Let's, I'm, I'm going to choose to take... More or have resistance to fire, take 17. So I take... So eight. with evasion and resistance to fire, I'm going to take... Resistant. Eight? Yeah. So I have that. As from the nearby shrubbery and bushes, six individuals emerge. Blade, blades out. Uh, spider web tattoos, very clear in uh, view. Yep. Led by a familiar half-elf uh, that you have met the night before. Oh, we should have fucking killed her. And she shouts... Her. We should have kidnapped her when we had the chance. She shouts out, Make sure to take him alive. The rest of them die. Gross. And Ooh. I would love to get in coma right now, but my voice is beginning to completely fuck off, so I think we're going to call it here, and we'll pick this up next week. Start next session yeah, with we Wow, we were. Let's go. It gives me a whole... I, gives a whole I week love to think about Brooks, Brooks as a character. I failed the save, and I took eight damage. I, I love you, Dave. I, mean, you're a tiefling, I so made the save, and I took eight like damage. Anyway, right? Yeah. So. And monk evasion and fucking <coughs> yeah. barbarian advantage. Yeah, exactly. Shame but, I roll uh, like shit. Hope you guys Grinch. enjoyed. I, uh, it was good to be back. Even though I feel hey. like ass. Get better, you motherfucker. I'm trying. I, I I'm going this. to the doctor tomorrow. Take your vitamins. They, they, they think it might be like a lung infection type beat. So I, uh... Honestly, you should look at <laughs> your new, new lungs. Like, and I've started taking immunity support vitamins because my immune system's so garbage, it needs extra help. So. Yeah. Imagine having a bad immune system. The thing is, if it actually turns out to be a lung infection, I'll just get some antibiotics and I'll be good within a few days. You know what I mean? So I'll be all right. But in general, kind of the extra immune is. support. Yeah, no, you're not right. Not a bad thing. Right, COVID's right. Just there. stop licking doorknobs and windows, they taste okay? So much. <laughs> I, just, I just really like their tanes. <laughs> I like how it feels in my mouth. <laughs> No, but I, I hope like, you guys we know you like how it feels chat. in your mouth, mate. Hope you guys oh, enjoyed I like a watching. In my mouth, right? Rush hour, Andy. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Rush hour, Andy. 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 Um, we appreciate you. Uh, we'll be back here next week uh, with uh, hey. a, hopefully a full length. I'm assuming that next week I'll be fine again, and we'll do a full length yeah. sesh. Uh, Who so wants a fun fact? Laura. After that fireball. Oh no, it's I... the week after. Yeah, I'm here next week. Yeah, but fun fact, I'm 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 down to 17 hit points. Oh shit! Right. Right. Hey, You're Laura. down to 17. <laughs> hey Laura, yeah. hey Laura, I'm on 23. So let's. I'm on 109. <laughs> the guys are so weak. Yeah. It's, almost, it's almost like this character is built to uh, <coughs> everyone else alive, but not himself. <laughs> it's almost like that's a defining personality trait for a lesbian. <laughs> Right. My plan when constantly. we fight is to immediately, if if Davian consents, to hitchhike with Davian as the fire resistant boy, and I'm now scared. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you literally got guys... Brooks is also a fire resistant boy. True. Hmm? Uh, anyway, I, I hope you guys Brooks is also a fire enjoyed I am also a fire resistant boy. They all said everything alive, so boy, we'll be back next week. Uh, while these guys waffle, I'm going to do the outro. Uh, <laughs> oh, appreciate, appreciate you. Um, thanks for being here. I'm sorry today wasn't a, a long sesh, but I, I, dude, I'm fucking my voice. Better is, than I mean, nothing. My voice is getting better. Right Easing back into it. It's you know, not. I'm sorry. It's a long sesh. It's hey, we played today instead of not playing. So that is true. I guess. Playing Stop hard. apologizing. I miss D&D. And uh, we'll be oh. here next week. Bye bye. Bye guys. I will not bye. Be here next week. I will not. Bye. Fuck, dude.